The topic explores the concept of life cycle investing, and its impact on the asset classes, that are appropriate throughout the investing lifetime, of an individual investor. The financial planning process, helps the investor, to examine his investment objectives, and set realistic goals, through the course of writing the investment policy statement. The investment policy statement process, prompts, the investor to consider, other important matters, like insurance, taxes, educational and estate planning. The investment policy statement is used, by the portfolio manager, to formulate, an investment plan for the investor. This will include, asset allocation, security selection and portfolio construction. Managing institutional funds, also relies on an agreed investment policy statement, but institutional fund management differs from individual fund management, as the considerations are different. In selecting the portfolio manager to help realize his investment goals, the investor would need to consider, both qualitative and quantitative factors, including manager expertise, management fees, the manager's investment philosophy and investment styles. The investor, will have to decide on, an active, or a passive approach. Both investment styles, will still require an investment mandate, to provide the manager, with investment limits, risk constraints, and an appropriate benchmark. Learning Objectives At the end of this topic, you should be able to Describe life cycle investing, and the various stages that an individual investor goes through in his investing career. Explain, the financial planning process. Defend, the importance of the IPS in the investment management process. Identify the elements of the IPS. Review, the portfolio manager selection process. Contrast, between active and passive investment styles. Summarize, the various passive investing techniques and recognize the active equity investing styles. Individuals go through different phases in their life. Life cycle investing is a theory that at each phase of the individual's life, there is an optimum mix of assets and investments for that individual based on the age and more importantly the investment horizon of the investor. When the investment horizon is long, life cycle investing advocates that the individual should be invested in risky assets like equity and high yield bonds. Such assets will provide the individual with an aggressive profile to accumulate wealth over the medium term. The risk profile is high when individual is invested in equities and risky bonds but the individual can afford, to sit through any market downturns and ride the upswing, in asset prices. The individual's investment horizon becomes shorter, as he enters middle age, with still a relatively long time, 
to the retirement age, life cycle investing advocates reducing the equity portion in favor of more income producing assets like government and asset backed bonds. When the individual is going to retire, he no longer can afford to take any capital losses with a big allocation into equities. The portfolio should be made up principally of income producing assets like bonds or bank deposits that provide the investor with current income. He will be in a drawdown phase where his net worth will start to decline given that he will be without employment income or even if he works on a part-time basis the employment income would be greatly diminished compared to his prime earning years. Let us look at the various stages in the individual's life and the portfolio mix that is recommended according to the life cycle theory of investing. Some key takeaway from the analysis of the various stages of the life cycle of an investor in their retirement planning up Investments that are prudent for you at one stage of your life, may not be so when you enter into the next stage of the life cycle. Investors with a long investment horizon, should be heavily invested in equities, but if your retirement is imminent, then the portfolio should be geared toward more income producing assets, like bonds. Investment goals are very specific, to an individual and his stage in the life cycle. Each individual, would have aspirations, for a retirement, lifestyle, as well as legacy gifts to family members, and charity that cannot be generalized. Investment goals, may change, even within the same life cycle stage, if circumstances change, for example, if one falls ill, and cannot work for a time, or, if there are unexpected additional expenses, to the immediate family. This may necessitate a change, in the investment goals, to accommodate the changed circumstances. Individual circumstances may change the length, of the period an individual may remain in a stage, for example, a doctor who spends 10 years getting a specialist qualification, may be in the accumulation stage until he is 50, because he only starts earning in his early 30s, and he has a big education loan to settle, before he can start investing. An individual's investment horizon, will depend on the anticipated, retirement age. Even though, the retirement age in Malaysia is currently 60, an individual may choose to retire earlier, or later. This will influence the investment horizon of that individual, with a later retirement age, meaning that more risks can be undertaken in the portfolio, due to the ability to invest through many market cycles. It should be apparent now, that the investment goals, and the portfolio mix, will change, with the various stages, in the life cycle of an individual. Financial planning, is a process of determining, the needs and financial aspiration, of the individual, through a systematic development, and implementation of a comprehensive personal investment plan. A financial planner, helps the individual financial planning goals, through advice on investments, asset allocation, risk management, insurance needs, tax and estate planning. We have seen that, the individual's life cycle stages, entail changing needs, multi-period investment goals, and shifting optimum portfolio mixes. Financial planning is a process of determining the needs and financial aspiration of the individual through a systematic development and implementation of a comprehensive personal investment plan. A financial planner helps the individual financial planning goals through advice on investments, asset allocation, risk management, insurance needs, tax and estate planning. 
Thus, the financial planning process is dynamic, and vigilance is needed to cater to the changing needs of the individual. Gather, client data, including short-term and long-term goals. The financial planner should ask for information about the client's financial situation. The client and financial planner must mutually define the client personal and financial goals, both in the short-term and for the longer horizon. The planner should understand the time frame for results and understand the client's attitude towards risks.